powerful exorcism prayer to St. Michael the Archangel, deliver us from evil. Hello friends, it's Joseph and welcome to With Mary, the big family that helps you to pray. Please subscribe now and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our new prayers and updates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, deliver us from all evil with this prayer against our enemies, this prayer of exorcism that is given to us by the Church to fight against the devil and his demons. The prayer that I propose to you today is very powerful, and we have received testimonies of people being healed and set free by it. It is called the Exorcism of Leo XIII, written to drive away the devil, and prayer of protection against all evil in our life, our families, and the society. It can be said when we suppose a demon is in action and manifests itself in spiritual battles, temptations, illness, attacks, wickedness, and calamities of any kind. It can be prayed by all the faithful on a personal and private basis, but it cannot be prayed on anyone else except by a priest. This is the instructions that our Holy Church gives us to protect us. Holy Spirit, Creator, we invoke you. Be our defender against all enemies and against all evil. Come, Creator Spirit, to visit us. Come and enlighten the souls of your children. Fill our hearts with grace and light, you who created all things with love. You, the gift, the envoy of the Most High God, you made yourself for us the defender. You are the love, the fire, the living source, strength and sweetness of the Lord's grace. Give us the seven gifts of your love. You, the finger that works in the name of the Father, you whose reign and coming he promised us, you who inspire our tongues to sing. Put your light in us, set us on fire. In our hearts, spread the love of the Father. Come and strengthen our bodies in their weakness and give us your eternal strength. Drive away the enemy who threatens us. Hasten to give us peace, that we may walk under your guidance and our lives be washed clean of sin. Let us see the face of the Most High and reveal to us the face of the Son. And thou, the common spirit that gathereth them together, come into our hearts that we may believe in you forever. Glory to God our Father in heaven. Glory to the Son who rises from the underworld. Glory to the Spirit of strength and wisdom, for ever and ever. Amen. May his enemies be scattered. May those who hate him flee before him. As the smoke is dispersed, disperse them. As wax is melted by fire, so may the wicked perish before God. Oppose, O Lord, those who oppose me. War upon those who make war upon me. Take up the shield and buckler. Rise up in my defense. Brandish lance and battle axe against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek my life be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who plot evil against me be turned back and confounded. Make them like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them on. Make their way slippery and dark, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Without cause they set their snare for me, without cause they dug a pit for me. Let ruin overtake them unawares, let the snares they have set catch them. Let them fall into the pit they have dug, then I will rejoice in the Lord, exult in God's salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most glorious Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, Archangel Saint Michael, defend us in battle, and in the tremendous struggle we carry, 
on against the principalities and powers, against the rulers of the world of darkness and all evil spirits, come to the help of man, whom God created immortal, fashioned to his own image and likeness, and rescued at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. With the great army of the holy angels, fight today the battle of the Lord, as thou didst of old fight against Lucifer, the leader of the proud, and his apostate angels who were powerless against thee, and they had no longer a place in heaven, and that monster, the old serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, that seduces the whole world, was cast into hell with his angels. But now, that enemy and homicide has regained his insolent boldness, taking on the appearance of an angel of light. He has invaded the earth, and with his whole train of evil spirits he is prowling about among men, striving to blot out the name of God and his Christ, to capture, to destroy, to drag to eternal perdition the souls destined to the crown of eternal glory. That malignant dragon is purring around like a foul stream into the souls of men of ruined intellect and corrupt heart, the poison of his wickedness. The spirit of lying, of impiety, of blasphemy, the pestilent breath of impurity and of all vice and iniquity. Most cunning enemies have filled with bitterness and drenched with gall the church, the spouse of the lamb without spot, and have lifted impious hands against all that is most sacred in it, even in the holy place where the sea of blessed Peter and the chair of truth were set up to enlighten the world. They have raised the abominable throne of their impiety with the iniquitous hope that the shepherd may be stricken and the flock scattered abroad. Arise then, unconquerable prince, defend the people of God against the assaults of the probate spirits and give them the victory. Holy Church reveres thee as its guardian and patron. It glories in thee as its defender against the malignant powers of hell. To thee God has committed the souls that are to be conveyed to the seats of the blessed in eternal happiness. Pray then to the God of peace that he may put Satan under our feet so completely vanquished that he may no longer be able to hold men in bondage and work harm to the church. Offer up our prayer before the Most High, so that the mercies of the Lord may prevent us and lay hold of the dragon, the old serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and hurl him bound in chains into the abyss where he may no longer seduce the souls of men. Amen. Behold the cross of the Lord, fly ye hostile ranks. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. May thy mercies, O Lord, be fulfilled in us, as we have hoped in thee. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O God, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name and humbly beseech thy clemency that through the intercession of the ever immaculate Virgin and our mother Mary and of the glorious Archangel Saint Michael, thou would vouchsafe to help us against Satan and all the other unclean spirits that are prowling about the world to the great peril of the human race and the loss of souls. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God and Lord, strengthened by the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of Blessed Michael the Archangel, of the Blessed Apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, and powerful in the holy authority of our ministry, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. God arises, his enemies are scattered and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. 
as wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perishes at the presence of God. Behold the cross of the Lord, flee bands of enemies. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the offspring of David, hath conquered. May thy mercy, Lord, descend upon us, as great as our hope in thee. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects. In the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Most cunning serpent, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment God's elect, and sift them as wheat. The Most High God commands you, he with whom, in your great insolence, you still claim to be equal. God who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. God the Father commands you, God the Son commands you, God the Holy Ghost commands you. Christ, God's Word made flesh commands you, He who to save our race outdone through your envy, humbled Himself, becoming obedient even unto death. He who has built His church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her, because He will dwell with her all the days, even to the end of the world. The sacred sign of the cross commands you, as does also the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary commands you, she who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception crushed your proud head. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and of the other apostles command you. The blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints command you. Thus, cursed dragon, and you diabolical legions, we adjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only Son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all this seat, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ, in whom you have found none of your works, Give place to the Holy One, Holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church acquired by Christ at the price of His blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God, tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, the name which causes hell to tremble, this name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive this name, which the cherubim and the seraphim praise unceasingly, repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of hosts. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. May the Lord be with thee, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life and death and rest after work, because there is no other God than thee, and there can be no other. For thou art the creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before thy glorious majesty 
and we beseech thee to deliver us by thy power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. Deign, O Lord, to grant us thy powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech thee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Lord, that thy church may serve thee in peace and liberty. We beseech thee to hear us, that thou may crush down all enemies of thy church. We beseech thee to hear us. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou a prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Holy angels and archangels, defend us, guard us. Glorious Saint Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Militia, Protector of the Catholic Church, defend us against the many enemies that surround us. Do not allow that today they lead us to offend God. Protect us from the traps and the pitfalls that they sow under our feet. Fight them, put them to flight. If they come to harm us, either to our body with diseases or to our psyches with bad passions that they seek to bring about in us, or to our soul, which they try to take away from us, triumph over their malice, assist us in the struggle and the fight of life, and especially at the moment of death. Amen. It is evil that you offer to drink. Drink your poisons yourself. May the dragon never be my guide. Withdraw, Satan. Never inspire me with your vanities. Cross of the Holy Father Benedict. Holy Cross, be my light. Amen. In this decade of the Rosary, I propose a prayer against human enemies to ask the Lord to change their hearts and ours too if necessary, so that the light of God may flood all our relationships, pacifying them in his tenderness through Mary. You can entrust these relationships, these people, in the comments of the video. O Virgin Mary, watch over each one. Extend the protection of your maternal mantle over all of us. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who were most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us who have recourse to you. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Our Holy Guardian Angel, watch over us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. All the angels and saints, Pray for us. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoyed this exorcism prayer against enemies with the help of Saint Michael the Archangel, and all the saints, then please like it and share it with somebody who may be in great need of this prayer. You can of course pray this prayer against evil over the course of several days, for example as a novena, to ask the Lord for his liberation on a specific area in your life. So thank you for participating, I want to offer you the free digital ebook, The Five Essential Keys to Praying Better. Please click on the link that appears now or in the comments section below. Many thanks to you, dear friends, and I look forward to seeing you in the next prayer. But until then, may the Lord, the Virgin Mary, the angels and all the saints give you permanent protection against all evil and all visible or invisible enemies. Until then, God bless and joy in Jesus.